In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create this quick uh, see-through vinyl pouch with a double tap zipper tape. So you have nice uh, tabs to grab onto uh, when you are opening and closing your uh, pouch. This project uh, is very cost uh, efficient. I create those uh, I create this pouch uh, using a pre-cut vinyl sheet that you can get very uh, cheaply out of Amazon. So they usually come uh, in packs and um, they have multiple choices of prints and colors. Uh, I got this set uh, and I figured that this is a perfect size uh, to create a little uh, see-through pouch for uh, some uh, cosmetics while you are going on a shorter uh, weekend trip uh, you can just pack everything up and you can see what you already have uh, and if you are not forgetting anything so if you are interested in making one of these uh, just grab yourself a, a set of those uh, pre-cut sheets um, the size of the sheets is seven and a half by 13 inches uh, this this is the uh, size uh, of the sheet uh, that will create the size of the pouch and the finished size of the pouch is uh, five inches in width six inches tall and it's inch and a half in width uh, also you can use a, a basically any size of the sheet you have um, you just gonna adjust the zipper size uh, but um, you can customize the size uh, to your liking or to the supply um, to the supplies that you already have. This project, uh, it's just a free uh, tutorial. Like I said, um, you don't really need that much supplies or a pattern pieces. You just need a sheet of see-through vinyl and a piece of zipper that it's two inches longer on each side from the top edge of the um, see-through vinyl that you're gonna be using. So if I'm using a vinyl that is uh, seven and a half inches in width, uh, I'm gonna add four inches, so that's gonna be 11 and a half inches uh, length of my zipper tape. Then we're gonna trim it, but it's it's just easier to work with a longer zipper tape. Uh, but if you wanna be really conservative, I wouldn't um, cut the zipper tape and the shorter than uh, an inch longer on each side of the project. Also in this project, we're gonna use a technique that it's called the French seam. So you're not gonna have a sharp uh, vinyl seams on the inside of your pouch. They're gonna be enclosed in the French seam. This is something that looks uh, really nice, but it's not uh, hard to do at all. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through uh, how to do that. Also, we're not using any binding on the zipper. Uh, we're just gonna use the zipper tape itself to give us a nice clean um, look on the top of our pouch. If you are already a subscriber to my channel, welcome back. I'm glad you, you are coming back for another of my tutorials. If you are yet uh, not a subscriber, please make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel uh, and hit the uh, notification bell. Uh, this way you're gonna be notified every time a new tutorial uh, is released. And now, if you would like to see how this cute little see-through pouch uh, comes together, please keep watching. And so I have all my supplies ready. All I need is the uh, one sheet of this uh, see-through vinyl, a zipper, uh, and I have my zipper cut that is about inch and a half, two inches long on each side of the top edge. I have a little scrap of vinyl that I'm gonna use for my zipper tabs. Uh, I have my zipper pull that I customized. Um, I will uh, link the video to uh, uh, Kelly's tutorial, how to customize your zipper pull, which is really cool. Uh, and I have some small rivets uh, to attach my uh, zipper tabs. So first thing we wanna do, we wanna take our uh, vinyl sheet and the zipper. And I cut the zipper and I also melted the ends of the zipper with the lighter so it doesn't fray. So that's something um, you can do in preparation of your project. Uh, so now take your vinyl sheet and place your zipper teeth side down, centering it on the shorter edge 
uh, of the vinyl and secure that with clips. Take a ruler and measure one inch from the side edge of the vinyl and make the mark onto your um, zipper tape. Do the same thing on the other side. And when you have your panel prep like this, you're gonna take it to the machine and you're gonna sew the zipper onto the clear vinyl uh, with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance. And you wanna sew only between those two marks. We don't wanna sew the zipper all the way through onto our panel. We wanna slip the ends of the zipper so they are not uh, sewn in into the side seam. So now take it to the machine and sew the zipper on with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 2.5 stitch length. Now that the zipper is sewn into the panel between those two 1 inch marks, we're gonna fold the zipper over and we wanna, usually you would fold the seam uh, this way, but that's not what we wanna do with the clear vinyl. We wanna cover our seam. So we're gonna fold the zipper tape over to cover the seam. And we're gonna take our project back to the sewing machine. And we're gonna top stitch on the zipper tape along the seam that we just created with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length. So you wanna make sure you are top stitching along the zipper tape seam making sure you're gonna stop uh, where the seam ends. Yeah. Now that our top stitching is done, we're gonna fold our uh, vinyl sheet up to the other edge of the zipper, making sure our sides align nicely. Flip it over. Yet again, take your ruler and mark the one inch spot. And take your project to the machine and sew the zipper tape on onto the other end of the clear vinyl panel with the one eight uh, of an inch uh, seam allowance between those two marks, making sure you are back stitching on the beginning and on the end of the seam. Now that the other side of the zipper is thrown into our clear panel, we're gonna split the zipper tape. You're gonna repeat what we did with the first zipper. So you're gonna flip the zipper over. And when you have your uh, tape fold over like this you're gonna take it to the machine and you're gonna top stitch on the zipper tape with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length and again you want to make sure you're gonna back stitch on the beginning and on the end of the seam. Now that uh, we have our zipper tape attached to both top edges of our pouch we are gonna uh, place it wrong sides together so we want to fold it in half and place it in a way that it's going to be when it's finished. So this is our right side with the uh, zipper coils facing up. So place those two panels together, align the sides and start clipping the clear vinyl all the way through on both sides. When you have your project prep like this, you're gonna take it to the machine and making sure that your zipper tape is away from the uh, needle. 
you're gonna sew on each side with the one fourth of an inch seam allowance and 2.5 stitch length. Uh, just make sure when you're sewing, you're not gonna catch the zipper tape into your seam. So the sides of my project are sewn. I'm gonna trim my seam allowances a little bit. So I'm gonna try to trim them to about one eighth of an inch. Making sure I'm not cutting my zipper. And now that the seam allowances are trimmed, I'm gonna turn the project the wrong side out. When you have your project turned uh, wrong side out, uh, you wanna make sure that the seams are rolled nicely. And now you're gonna Secure them with clips again. Now that uh, you have your project prepped like this, you're gonna take it to the machine and you're gonna sew the sides again to create our enclosed French seam uh, with the one fourth of an inch uh, seam allowance and 2.5 stitch length. Uh, you wanna make sure that uh, the raw edges of the vinyl are being enclosed into the seam. So if you have to in, uh, enlarge the seam allowance a little bit, that's fine. Just make sure when you're sewing, you, you are catching the uh, folded edges uh, of the initial uh, seam allowance. And now you have uh, your seams enclosed. So we're gonna turn the project right side out again. So now we have uh, our side scenes completed. And if you just want a flat pouch, um, you will just move on to finishing up the zipper. But if you want to create box corners, um, we can do uh, exactly what we did with the side seams. And you wanna create a crease on the bottom of your project. So um, you have reference to the bottom uh, middle of the bottom when you're folding your pouch. Now you're gonna open the corners, make sure that the seam line, not the uh, seam allowance line, but the seam line aligns with the bottom crease. And you can clip, clip that together. Do the same thing on the other side. And now uh, you can take it to the machine and you, you can measure from the tip of the project uh, half an inch in, and that's gonna be your uh, seam line. So you can mark it if you have a marking tool that's gonna leave a mark on the clear vinyl, or you can just use the seam allowance marks on your uh, sewing machine bed to align the corner with the half an inch mark and just create a seam and just make sure to backstitch well on the beginning and on the end of the seam and do the same thing on the other side. So we wanna sew a seam half an inch below uh, the top corner of our side seam. Now that we have our corner sewn, we're gonna trim the seam allowances to one eighth of an inch. Turn the project wrong side out.
fold it, clip it. And uh, take it to the machine and sew uh, along uh, the clip edge with the one fourth of an inch seam allowance and 2.5 stitch length. And make sure to back stitch well in the beginning and not the end of the seam. Now that our French seams are completed, we can turn our project right, right side out. Now we have our little box corner pouch. The last thing left to do is to finish up our zipper. So you wanna just take a look, see which side looks better uh, to do with the front side of your pouch. Uh, and uh, that's how you're gonna uh, figure out how you wanna install your zipper pull. I like my zipper pull too close uh, when I'm pulling it towards the left and I think that side of my pouch looks nice, so I'm gonna install my zipper pull uh, starting with the ends of the zipper tape that are on the right side. Pull the zipper through. Make sure everything looks, looks nice and even. And then reinsert the zipper pull again. My zipper pull is on. Now I'm gonna finish up my zipper tape. Uh, I wanna have a small, um, tabs to pull when I'm opening and closing my zipper. So I'm going to trim the zipper tape to about an inch. So I'm going to take my ruler and trim my, uh, trim my zipper to uh, an inch from, from the seam. Now I'm gonna use my lighter to seal the cut ends of the zipper. Now I'm gonna prep my uh, zipper tabs. So I have a piece of a scrap of vinyl that just happens to have uh, dots on it as well. So I wanna cut uh, a piece that is inch and a quarter by two inches. This is the size of two of my tabs, so now I'm gonna cut it in half to have two tabs the size of one and a quarter by one inch. This is the one and a quarter is the size of the zipper tape number five. So that's a standard size. And I just want a small top. So that's why uh, the width of my top is uh, one inch. So I'm gonna have a half an inch top on each end of my zipper end. So now to help me install the zipper tops, I'm gonna use some double-sided tape. I'm gonna place straps of double-sided tape on the front and on the back of the zipper tape.
take my tops and figure out which side I want it to be the front side. Remove the backing of the tape. Fold my top in half and place it over the zipper tape and you can secure it with a clip just to give it a little more strength and time for the adhesive to stick to the vinyl and do the same thing on the other side. Now that I have the tabs temporarily affixed to my zipper, I'm gonna uh, uh, I'm gonna affix them to my zipper tape with uh, some rivets. I'm gonna take my hole punch and just punch holes. You can actually mark it with a pen if you don't feel comfortable for don't trust yourself that you're gonna punch holes that are roughly in the same place on both sides. So that looks good to me. I'm just gonna use that to punch my holes. Put my rivets in. Repeat that on the other side. And now I'm gonna use my rivet press to secure the rivets. Now I can see if anything needs to be trimmed. And now I have little tops to close and open my little pouch. The project is now completed. We have a cute see-through pouch. Uh, and also we don't have any waste because we created this pouch from the full sheet of the pre-cut uh, clear vinyl. Uh, I really think that those little tabs on the end of the zipper are really handy. And also it gives the pouch a bigger opening uh, so you can easily um, reach and, and grab uh, all your items out of the pouch. Uh, and also uh, using the French seam technique, you don't have any row edges. Uh, although it's a see-through vinyl, you can see the seams, but I think it's, it gives the pouch a nice, uh, more professional look. I hope you enjoyed this quick project and you uh, like my um, video tutorials. If you do, please make sure to give the video a like. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, push the bell notification. So you're going to get notified every time I release a new video or tutorial. Till the next time.